Good morning. I'm Deanne Thurmer. I'm the president of Ripon Community Hospital and the Waupon Memorial Hospital. And we are so happy that you are here today um, to help um, SSM Health um, in our day stabilization services ribbon cutting. We are so excited to have um, this be the first of its kind for mental health in the state of Wisconsin. As the hospital president, I'm so humbled by all the work that has gone into the planning and implementation of this essential program. Not only for the immediate Ripon community, but for those within our service area that will benefit from our day stabilization services a short time from now. We appreciate the outpouring of support we have received from the governor, Tony Evers, and the state of Wisconsin, as well as the foundation for Ripon Medical Center and the enthusiastic welcome from our community partners who will be instrumental in connecting individuals facing mental health concerns with our team. Before we get started, I would like to offer a brief opening prayer. Once I'm done, we'll be joined by Tiffany Parker, who serves as the director of SSM Health Greater Fond du Lac Behavioral Health Hospital-Based Services, who will explain more about the day stabilization services. Please join me as we center ourselves today. Creator God, time and again throughout history, you have sent your servants on a mission to speak your word to the poor, to heal the sick, to free the captives. May your inspiration guide us as we strive to be your servants. Strengthen each of us in our particular ministry that we may be a presence of radical healing in our world. With this shared faith and hope, we ask your blessing on the work that lies ahead. Amen. Thank you, Deanne. As community mental health needs continue to grow, we're thrilled to offer additional services as part of our new day stabilization services. This program will help individuals who are facing a mental health crisis but don't meet the medical criteria to be admitted inpatient. In many cases, though they can't be admitted to a hospital, they face great uncertainties returning home without guidance and important resources set in place for them. Psychiatry and outpatient mental health services often have wait lists six to eight months or longer. In our new program, we will have the ability to bring in these patients in the midst of crisis and voluntarily stay in our care for up to 23 hours. During that time, we can provide them with an assessment, brief therapy, and family and discharge planning. We will be able to serve up to eight individuals at any given time in this program. The program is appropriate for those individuals whose mental health and or substance use concerns can be stabilized within 23 hours and they can safely return to the community. Thanks to our funding from the state of Wisconsin, we were able to remodel an existing unit within the Ripon Community Hospital to provide these patients with a home-like living room setting that is safe and comfortable as an alternative to the emergency room. I'd also like to thank Lori Recheck, our Day Stabilization Services Supervisor, for all her work to get this program off the ground while she continues to provide mental health services daily to those individuals and families we serve. It's such a rewarding feeling to know that the Ripon Community Hospital will become the first SSM health facility, both regionally and system-wide, as well as the first in Wisconsin to offer this innovative service. I look forward to personally showing this new area with our guests that are here with us today, and I'd now like to introduce Sue Anderson, who serves as the SSM Health Wisconsin Regional President. Thank you, Tiffany, and thank you to you and your team for everything that you've done to get this up. This is a very exciting day for us, and we're excited that all of you are here to share it with us. This new and innovative program right here in Ripon reflects our goal within SSM Health to talk more openly about mental health and shift the culture. People need to understand that it's okay to not be okay, and this unit will help with that. We need to um, increase our ability to be self-aware to recognize the signs of mental health distress and not be afraid to speak up. 
as you all know, this is an important issue, not just here, not in Ripon, not just in the state, but across the entire country. With the COVID-19 pandemic and many other factors, we know that mental health continues to dramatically impact the individuals in our country. According to the National Alliance for Mental Illness, mental illness is very common. In fact, one in five people live with a mental health condition. Think about that, that's 51 million people in our country. SSM Health's commitment to mental health continues to be strong at a time when some healthcare organizations are getting out of behavioral health. We continue to step up and invest our resources to help. Now I'd like to welcome Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers. We're so incredibly grateful to have received a $158,000 healthcare infrastructure capital grant from the Department of Administration on behalf of the state of Wisconsin. So please join me in welcoming Governor uh, Tony Evers today. Well, good morning, everybody. It is a pleasure to be with you here in Ripon today to help celebrate the unveiling of the new day stabilization unit here at SSM Health Ripon Community Hospital. I'd like to thank President Thurmer, SSM Health uh, Wisconsin Region President Anderson, Behavioral Health Services Director Parker, and all the folks here at SSM Health Ripon Community Hospital for all their hard work to make this program really important program a reality. From the leadership team to the nurses and providers, behavioral health technicians, and all those who will be working on this unit, thank you for creating such a comprehensive, innovative program. There is no de denying that these last few years have challenged us in more ways than we could have ever imagined. And none of us can attest that to, to better that None of, us, none of us can do it better to attest to it than our healthcare workers. One thing these last few years have underscored is the increased need for mental, behavioral, and substance use services across our state. We know that around one in five individuals, as mentioned before, suffer from mental health issues. Additionally, in recent years, we've also seen some of the most troubling statistics regarding the pre pre prevalence of substance use disorder and overuse, uh, overdose deaths, both here in Wisconsin and across the country. We simply cannot afford to just go back to the way things were prior to COVID-19, that expanding access to every facet of healthcare had, had to be part of our economic recovery efforts. And that's why we've invested exactly in these type of services across the state, including right here in Ripon. Earlier this year, I announced our Healthcare Infrastructure Capital Investment Grant Program, which we designed to support projects on every corner of the state and lay the foundation for healthier communities and a stronger state by addressing mental and behavioral health challenges, bringing rural healthcare, uh, bridging rural healthcare gaps, and building the local infrastructure needed to tackle health-related crises that comes our way. That's exactly what this new Day Stabilization Services Unit seeks to do here in Ripon. And we're happy to support it with a $158,000 grant and to support these very efforts. This program is dar uh, targeted to address patients' need, needs when and where they need them, while also facilitating connections in the community to support individuals' long-term care and recovery close to home. This unit, new unit will serve as an important resource to help the next generation of mental and behavioral health care providers gain experience through internships and other opportunities, furthering the success of this invaluable part of their state's workforce. Folks, when we launched this grant program, I said that if we wanted to see Wisconsin communities succeed for years to come, then we need to make these investments today to build long-term sustainable well-being for tomorrow. And that's exactly what we're here to celebrate today. So with that, I thank the folks at SSM Health who made this unit possible and look forward to our working together. Thank you, Now I think I'm gonna be turning it back to President Thurmer. Thank, take care, folks, thank you.
Thank you so much, Governor Evers. It is truly an honor to have you here today as we celebrate this milestone. Before we move to our ribbon cutting, I'd like to address a few housekeeping items. As part of our ribbon cutting ceremony, we'll take a moment to sign the celebratory banner, which we'll be sharing at our welcome events with our employees, providers, and community partners. With COVID-19 protocols, we'll be taking smaller groups to the day stabilization services area, starting with our ribbon cutting participants. While you are waiting for us to escort each group, please enjoy some delicious breakfast pastries from Mr. and Mrs. P's Eatery right here in Ripon, and have some good conversation. Thanks for joining us today. I would no, now like to ask the following individuals to join us up by the ribbon. Um, if I could have Lori Recheck, um, supervisor of the new day stabilization unit. Todd Weir, chairperson of the Ripon Community Hospital Board of Directors. Representative Alex Dalman, thank you, Assembly District 41. Ripon's mayor, Theodore Grant. Tiffany Parker, that you've met, Sue Anderson, and Governor Tony Eversley. And I will have you take a step forward. Don't run with me. Let me take one. Yeah. All right. We'll just take a moment, a minute. My mask back on. Somebody want to help me? <laughs> 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 One, two, three. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>